What is human-centered design and why does it matter? Also known as design thinking and user-centered design, human-centered design puts people at the core of its products and programs. It's about designing with and not just for the end user, aiming to truly meet the needs of the beneficiary, customer, or client. Just another buzzword? Let's break down exactly what human-centered design is and why it matters for the global development community. Human-centered design has its origins in the private sector, in fields like user interface design and human-computer interaction. While the development community has long recognized the need for more participatory approaches, the sector still receives criticism for designing for problems instead of designing for people. But what does it mean to design for people? Before creating a solution, development professionals must thoroughly understand the problem by engaging with communities and individuals, spending time with them, listening to their concerns, and understanding the specifics of their lives. This process involves the rigorous collection of qualitative data, which is turned into deep insights about a target audience, and then is used to design a set of workable, personalized, data-driven solutions for each specific community or country. This means it's inherently built from what works in a given context, instead of trying to adapt an existing solution to fit unique circumstances. The next stage of human-centered design is prototyping. Prototyping is about getting ideas into the community to get active participation. Organizations can create a rough prototype that is introduced into the community for feedback and further refined into a pilot. This may seem like a lot of work before you begin to implement a solution. What makes it worth it? Development practitioners are already harnessing this approach at international organizations like UNICEF, philanthropic ventures like the Gates Foundation, and private sector development companies like Chemonix. Here are some benefits that they have shared. One, it checks assumptions. Human-centered design helps organizations develop and build on new and ambitious ideas, rather than dismissing them out of hand before they have a chance to prove their worth. Two, it helps us cut waste. Human-centered design is a process that, if executed well, can drastically change the way we use and spend resources. Three, it helps us forge new partnerships. Human-centered design brings together different types of thinkers and makers, people who bring different disciplinary perspectives, cultural understandings, and creative abilities. Above all, it pushes us to get into a project with questions, rather than catch-all solutions. As human-centered design becomes more commonplace in global development, here are a couple of things to remember as you apply it to your work. First, have a solid grasp of what human-centered design is before deciding that it's the right methodology for you. Do your research and look thoughtfully within your organization or project to understand if and how human-centered design could add value. It doesn't have to be all or nothing. Rather, there may be elements of human-centered design that can complement and support what you're already doing and other elements that are less relevant or too resource intensive. Human-centered design is new to our community. Applying the method takes a shift in mindset. Be open, give it a try and let us know how it works for you. Are you using human-centered design in your work? Share your stories on social media using hashtag global to local and visit globaltolocal.devx.com for more insights.